Is it a sin to use the letter J in reference to Jesus? Or is it supposed to be Jesus or Jesus or something like this or Yeshua? Um, did a video showing that Yahweh is a false god and uh, a lot of people got upset about that as expected. But uh, people are saying that the letter J is a modern invention and it's just terrible and you shouldn't use that name for Jesus and all this other stuff. Um, well, if you actually understand what I preach and teach, I preach that uh, if you are speaking in Hebrew, then by all means say Yeshua. If you're speaking Spanish, you can say Jesus or however you say it, or um, you speak other languages that the J's are pronounced like a Y, uh, then say Jesus or that's fine. That's not a problem. But you see, I speak English and I have an English King James Bible. Greatest book that's ever been written. King of all the books, you see. But hey, again, I believe in consistency. So if you're going to use, replace the J and say, I refuse to say Jesus, it'll have to be Jesus or Yeshua or some kind of a thing like that. All right, then be consistent with everything if you speak English. You see, right now is the month of June. Oh, no, actually, it's the month of Yoon, apparently. Next comes the month of July, and we begin the first of the year with January. See? Be consistent. If, you're going to, if you can't say Jesus, J there, then it has to be a Y sound, then, you know, go ahead. How about a uh, peanut butter and yelly sandwich? Don't say that deadly J word now, you know. I want justice. That'd be another good one to say. How about in the Bible, you have uh, the different books of the Bible. Instead of Jeremiah, you say Jeremiah, Yudges, Yahshua, uh, Yon, Yames, and Yud. <laughs> if you can't say the name Jesus, then, you know, change all the books of the Bible there. And be sure to yump next time you're jogging. Or jump next time you're jogging if you're not crazy in the head. What's one of the secular things out there, popular media? Well, Batman versus the Joker, apparently. Uh, not the Joker, because we can't say J. J is a satanic letter or something somehow. Um, you know, interesting, one time I, I got to see a, a, a Yudge on Yuri duty. So you replace the J's, you know, remember that. Uh, how about buying some Yules from Japan? Jules from Japan, in other words. <laughs> Um, I had to yak up my vehicle to change the tire. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm yakking up my, my vehicle right now. Don't you mean jacking? No, I mean yakking. J is satanic. I can't say the letter J. And I mean, I saw it in the comments. Uh, people, the, the letter J is satanic somehow. The devil put, you know, the name Jesus into the King James Bible. But my favorite one, we wrote down a couple here last night as a family. We were having some fun with this. What happens if you would like to order some yellow... Jello, J E L L O, you know, Jello, like the old television commercials I used to watch when I was a boy before I got saved. How, do, what happens if you had to change the, the letter J to a Y with Jello? Do you realize you'd have yellow, yellow? What would you do with that? You almost have to, you know, deny the English language in order to get into crazy town here with saying the letter J is somehow this magical thing or whatever that. You can't say J anymore. The name of Jesus is without power. Yeah, right. Um, best book that's ever been printed, King James Bible, and it says Jesus. Well, originally, well, yeah, originally the English language wasn't settled in 1611. The English, English language was going through some refinements. The English language was a, still a somewhat of a new language. You study the history of English, it's been around for a long time, but it was combinations of French and, and Anglo-Saxon and some Germanic stuff and, you know, whatever. English is a great language. I believe it's the, one of the greatest languages, probably the greatest language outside of Hebrew because Hebrew was the original language that was uh, there. Well, we should change it. We should, we, but see, you just proved our point. You have to go back to Hebrew. Where does the Bible say to do that? Let me show you a verse. Galatians chapter 2, uh, verse 11 but when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. But when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews dissembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. Their hypocrisy, in other words. 
But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? That's the statement right there. Why are you compelling Gentiles to live after the manner of the Jews? I'm not a Jew. I'm a Christian. A Jew who gets saved is a Christian. All right? But the Bible never says, give up your culture as a Jew. It doesn't. There are things in the New Testament, you don't have to abide by the strict dietary laws of the you know, Mosaic law and everything there. You don't have to do that. So you can live after the manner of a Gentile in so much as what you're eating. But you don't have to give up your language. You don't have to give up your culture. But then you see, you can't flip it around on me and say, I'm a, hey, Brian, you're a Gentile. You have to live like a Jew. You have to start to say words in Hebrew and whatever else. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, God chose Greek to write the New Testament. That's a fact. All right. Uh, he didn't say, no, it has to be only in Hebrew, only in Hebrew. There, the Bible can only be in Hebrew and the holy name of Jesus can never be said Jesus. It has to be Yeshua and all this other stuff. Absolute nonsense. See, what these people are trying to do, all these Yeshuaites and Yahwehites and everything, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you back under the law because that's always where it goes. I've been preaching a long time, okay? A very long time. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a preacher that puts things out on YouTube. Please understand that. I've dealt with, with, in person with people. I've seen the people. I've dealt with them face to face. Okay? For many years. I've been around church people all my life. And I've seen what happens when these people get into this Hebrew root stuff and start saying Yahweh and Yeshua and all this other stuff. You know, they don't use all their language. You know, they, they don't say all of their language has to be Hebrew. Just the name of Jesus and, and everything and the names of God and whatever. And then they start to get into the names of the different apostles and trying to say other things and, you know, Jewish holidays. And pretty soon you have to be Torah observant. And then, then you have to keep the law. And then, then you have to, you know, Galatians. Galatians rebukes the whole system. All right. Use a King James Bible and read it and quote it as it stands. If you want to say, well, I can't say the letter J, then be consistent and take it all through the English language. Refuse to say the letter J anymore. Just everything's with a Y now or something. Okay, and then enter Nuttyville. Uh, you see, the devil wants to get you away from the simplicity of the gospel. And he wants to get you into all these weird little special little things and whatever where you just become useless. All right? Um, so that's going to be it for this study. And uh, we'll see you in future studies. Thank you for watching.